Hello again, I'm Tzvika from Lilusoft and today I'm going to show you how to use the arguments feature in my uh, automation and monitoring uh, utility, folder automation and monitoring utility. What we're going to do, I'm going to synchronize the existence of, file between, of files between those two folders. That means that I'm going to copy a few files into this folder and they will appear also in this folder and then, then I'm going to delete a few files from this folder and they will be also deleted from this folder. Okay, so let's start by uh, understanding a little bit about Watch for Folder. Okay, so uh, Watch for Folder is a monitoring and automation utility and it let me monitor folders for different event and execute different actions. When I'm going to uh, execute actions, I can use the name of the changed object, like a file name or a folder name, and use it as an argument for the, for the uh, automation process for the program batch or file that I'm going to execute. Just to understand a little bit about the interface of Watch for Folder, it's very simple. It's divided into three main sections. In the first section, I need to select the folder that I want to monitor. In the second section, I need to select the events that I want to monitor, like file creation or file rename, or folder creation or folder deletion, uh, file association changes, and so on. And in the third section, I'm going to execute actions when an event occurs. I can also execute actions when I'm sending to, uh, to the uh, executed program batch or file. I can send the name of the changed object, like a file that was created or a folder that was created. I can send it as an argument. Okay, so for now, let's minimize watch for folder and let's start by creating two uh, batch files inside uh, this demo folder and we are going to use these batch files for to complete the automation process okay so uh, building those batch files will also help you understand the principle of the arguments so let's start with the first one i'm going to click right click new text document and i'm going to for now to leave this name just open it double click and now i'm going to enter the command that will help us copy a, a, every new file that will be arrived into this folder and copy it to this folder. Okay, so if I, if it was just a, a console command, the console command will look like this: copy, okay, c demo one. This is the folder name, okay, and here will be the file name. Oops, sorry file name dot expansion okay and the destination will be c demo to file name dot expansion okay but this uh, this command is problematic when i'm going to use it with batch files because it already defines the file name the file that i'm going to copy but when I'm going to accept files into this folder, I don't know what is going to be the name of the file that is going to be dropped here. So I need to use something else instead of the full file name. And uh, we are going to use arguments. So the actual command that will mimic this line will be like this. Copy. Percentage 1. Percentage 1 represents the first argument that Watch for Folder is going to send to the batch file and actually will contain the full path of the new created file that will be created here inside uh, folder number 1. Okay, so if I need to translate it, this is going to be, this is going to, to be C demo 1 and uh, the new file name that I don't know his name. Okay, so uh, percentage one will be kind of a placeholder to hold the name of the new created file. Okay, so this is this part. Now we're going to go to this part, to the second part. Sorry, to the second part. Okay, the destination. Okay, so the destination is going to be C. <coughs> demo. Demo. 
folder number two. Okay, but now I cannot use a, a percentage one again. If I will put here percentage one again, the path is going to be again C demo one and the file name, of course. Yes, of course, the file name. And this is not a legal path. You cannot uh, enter a path like this, so the copy process will fail. So I need somehow to extract only the file name, the file name and the expansion name from this variable. Okay, so luckily uh, the OS shall let us do it with a simple trick. Okay, so what I'm going to do now will be like this. I'm going to enter percentage tilde, okay, sorry, tilde uh, n x1 and I will explain it okay so this is a special kind of variable that is going to extract only the file name from uh, the first variable this is a uh, let's say uh, let me explain to this is a variable n for the file name for name and x for the expansion name and one refers to the first variable which means I'm going to copy this one that actually will present the file here, the full path for the file here, to this destination, and I'm going to extract here only the file name without the full uh, without the full path. Okay, only the file name will be extracted and will be appended to this string. Okay, so this is the command, and now we can delete this example, and this is the only command that we need now to execute. Okay, so let's save it, exit, and now let's uh, change the name to uh, a legal file name, and I will call it copy uh, file dot bad. Okay, yes. So this is our first batch file. The second batch file, okay, is going to mimic a deletion. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to create a new text file text documents, uh, leave it like this, the name, I'm going to open it now, okay, so if I would like to delete a file from this folder, the command will be delete, yes, C, demo, to, and file name, dot expansion, but because I don't know what is going to be the name of the file that will be deleted here, I cannot enter the name of the file that is going to be deleted here. So, I'm going to use again the variable trick and the actual command will be del c demo to and now again I'm going to use the same trick with percentage tilde name expansion one. Okay, so same trick again, I'm going to delete from C demo to the, fi the actually file name that I'm going to extract from the first variable. Okay. Again, I deleted the <coughs> explanation line and now I can save it also. Exit. And now we're going to call it delete file dot Yes. Okay. So now we are almost ready, and now we need to point watch for folder to execute these files with uh, the argument. So let's open again watch for folder, and let's start by defining the first watch that is going to monitor for file creation. So I'm going to my computer for my demo folder, and this is the folder that I want to monitor. This is folder number one, and I'm, this is the one that I want to monitor, okay? You can see here that this is the selected folder. We don't have any subfolders, so I will not check this one. And I'm going to skip now the, the event selection. I want the event selection to be automatically according to the kind of argument that I want to send to the batch files. Okay, so let's select here, execute the program batch of file, and now let's browse and select our batch file. I cannot see it because I have a filter here. I will change the filter to batch file and let's select the first one, the copy file. We can see our uh, command line inside the batch file. This is the command for copy. Okay, 
so open and I can see that it is the one that selected. Now let's go to the arguments. Let's send this batch file define the f actually file name that is going to be created. Let's send it as an argument and it will populate the percentage one inside the batch file, the percentage one variable that we just defined. Okay, so I'm going to move to automatic mode. It tells me that I'm moving to automatically mode. This means that I will not select the event. The event will be selected automatically according to the kind of argument that I want to receive. So let's select the first one. The first one tells us that uh, we selected file creation. You can see that file creation automatically was checked now. So basically what is going to happen now, we are going to monitor this folder. See demo one for file creation. And when a new file will be created, the file name will be returned back as an argument to be executed together with the, our batch file. And it will uh, populate the percentage one that was just entered into the batch file. Okay, so that's all. Let's save it uh, by, the, let's give it a name. Okay, copy, sync. This is the name that I selected and apply. And we have jumped to the watch list and we can see our watch over here. Let's now create another watch just for the deletion. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to select the same folder again. And now I'm going to again execute a batch of program and I'm going to select delete file this time. This was the second uh, batch file that we have created. Okay, and open. And again, move to automatically mode. And this time I'm going to select file deletion. Again, the, the folder will be monitored for file deletion. And when a file will be deleted, the file name will be passed as a, an argument to our batch file that expecting to get uh, this file name as percentage one. Okay, let's call this one uh, delete sync. Okay, and apply. So we have now two jobs, two watch jobs. The first one is copy sync. It is going to monitor uh, folder number one for file creation, FC is file creation, and the ex action is going to be execute with arguments. And our second watch job is uh, delete sync. Again, pointing to the same folder. The event that we want to monitor is file deletion, FD. And again, we're going to execute with arguments. So now let's check it. Let's start the two jobs. You can see that the colors changed and the buttons became disabled. So the jobs are running now. We can now minimize it to the system tray. And let's check our, uh, our synchronization uh, solution. Okay, let's go into the first folder, which is empty. By the way, also the second one is empty. Okay, so let's go into the first one. And uh, I have here a bunch of files that I created before, S simple text files. I am going to uh, copy them, copy the files. And now I'm going to paste them into uh, my demo folder, into folder number one. Okay, click and paste, and you have seen a quick blink of the console screen. And now when I'm going to go back, you will see in my second folder, the same list of files, one, two, three, four, five, six. And also here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now let's check the other option of the deletion. Okay, so I'm going to select file number three and file number four and I'm going to delete them. Okay, yes. You've seen again the quick blink of the batch file. And now when I will go to number two, folder number two, you can see that uh, file three and file four are missing, same like as the first one. So what happened now was that the uh, watch for folder monitored uh, folder number one for the events that we defined. And each time it uh, executed, each time an event occurred, it executed uh, the uh, batch files. So uh, using those argume arguments, I can tell the batch file which file was added or deleted. And the same process was uh, synchronized with the other folder. Uh, that's all for this time. Thank you very much.